How's it going everyone? I hope you're all doing well. I'm currently not at the moment. I'm still in quite a lot of pain as you may be able to see, but this news was so ridiculous. I swept the pain medication off my desk. I threw my phone down, picked up my camera and decided that I needed to make this video. If you aren't aware, Apple are essentially completely scrapping production of the iPhone 12 mini, which is bad and I'm going to explain why in this video but this right here is not a good setting there's too much harsh light there's wind it's it's not good hold on Here we go. Apple have currently sold 15 million units of the iPhone 12 mini. That's a lot of phones. If this was, for example, 2011, the iPhone 12 mini would have outsold all of the iPhones. So how the hell did this happen? How do we get to a point where 15 million phone sales is enough for Apple to completely scrap production? Now, I'm not really a big fan of speculating on what companies do, how they produce their phones, their sales. Doesn't really interest me. I just like the tech. But whether I like it or not, this actually does affect the tech. I'll be explaining how. Number one, the screen size. I personally blame Apple for making phones get bigger and bigger every single year without fail and as somebody who doesn't like big phone screens this is kind of an issue in fact I stopped using my iPhone 12 partially because I broke it but I was actually already planning to because I really didn't like how big the screen was the iPhone 12 mini kind of filled that gap in the market for a lot of people but apparently not anymore this iPhone 8 is 4.7 inches. This is smaller than the iPhone 12 mini. I think you could buy this thing up until the release of the iPhone 12. So while well, you can still buy the 12 mini, if this trend continues, the smallest iPhone that Apple sells will be 6.1 inches. Last year with the 12, they scrapped that 5.8 inch design, which I really liked. As I said before, I think that is like the sweet spot. So yeah, that kind of sucks. Realistically though, I can't complain too much. I mean, the 12, the 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max all outsold the 12 mini, but in what world is 15 million units sold considered shabby? Honestly, I truly think it's a shame that phones smaller than six inches are starting to die out nowadays. While everyone certainly can get used to larger phones, I can confidently say this iPhone 8 is 10 times more comfortable than the iPhone 12. I think almost entirely because of its size. And while I have heard a couple of people talking about how there is gonna be an iPhone 13 mini, you guys know I don't pay any attention to rumors, so I'll believe it when I see it. But for now, kind of a shame about the iPhone 12 mini. I just got a new espresso machine, and I thought, seeing as this video kind of lacked a bit of content, thought I'd show you guys. And what better way to do that than just make a coffee? Okay, that's pretty good. Still kind of suck at like foam art. I'm not very good at that to be totally honest. Kind of want to get good at it, but I mean, it still tastes the same. Yeah. That's fun. All right, guys, so that's it for today. I know this has been a short one. I'm sorry again. I'm filming this on Saturday, so hopefully I'll feel better on Monday and I'll be able to crack on with an awesome video that I've got planned for you guys. I want to once again say thank you to everyone who's pledged on Patreon so far. I've actually recently shuffled around and updated some tiers. So if you want to go help support the show, then feel free to check that out. As for now, though, as always, thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you want to see more content like this, then smash that subscribe button. I'm done for now and I will see you guys in the next one.